Hi besties, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Mishi. If you're a returning subscriber, hey you! In this video, I'm going to be attempting to get this soft glam look. So let's get on with it. So um, as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and um i've done my base um i should have taken it a little bit to the outside but it is what it is so now so for the transition shade i'm going into the shade sienna and because i have hooded eyes i'm just going to tap above um my where the skin falls you first want to tap the product on before you start to blend. Because I want to go for that sharp finish. When I'm blending, I'm just gonna... I think it's too... Yeah. I'm gonna press it along my, my lower eyelid and just follow that line. I'm just going to press it, place it there. I'm using circular motions because I really want this to be soft. <laughs> and I'm bringing it all the way to the inner eye. And I'm blending it out using uh, circular motions. So that's our transition shade. Excuse me. I'm going to put this brush on the side because most probably I'm going to need it. I'm going to go into a more precise brush. So I'm going to go into Cypress Amber. Cypress Amber is a, a dark brown. And I'm going to go with that in the crease shade. And I'm going to just do like an outer V. So first you just want to tap the product on before you blend it out. I'd always advise you to first blend it out before you add more product. Unless maybe you, you're already used to the look and um, you already know how many times like you have to go back to the product to get the intensity that you want. But for your easy blending, my advice is you um, first tap the product on before you blend So, so far, this is what we have. Now for the part that, guys, <laughs> to be honest, I rarely do cut creases. I rarely. I've done it maybe once or twice. Maximum thrice. So this is going to be me giving it a try one more time. And um, to cut the crease, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in the shade Aiden. Is this thing expired? Does this have an expiry date? I've had this thing for the long... <gasps> I think it's expired. But we are still going to use it. I'm, not... I'm going to be using this brush to kind of trace where I want it to go. So I'm just going to apply it like, I'm going to follow this shape right halfway, midway, 
we're not doing a full cut crease because the last time I did that, I, it, the, the outcome wasn't so good. And to be honest, I haven't been practicing the cut crease. Because I have hooded eyes, I'm, I'm going to try not to blink. So, hmm. and I'm gonna try to sit straight because I've noticed that in my videos, when I look down, sometimes you all can't see what I'm doing. Above the, above the hooded eye. You see that? Good. We're still gonna get pay off. It's very sticky, which is a good thing. So till there. And then I'm gonna take a flat brush, take this flat brush, and I'm going to go into, I'm gonna go to burnt orange. Ooh. And top of the excess, and then I'm gonna tap it on. That, how does it look? Is that, was it a bad idea? We're going to place it everywhere where we had um, Eden. See the way we have a line of demarcation right there? We're going to go into the small, what is it? We're going to go into the, the brush that we used earlier on and we're going to try to just blend that. It's getting more dark. I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush that I used earlier and just to get rid, rid of that harshness at the top just gonna blend so we got that and then um, I'm going to be using the same brush I'm just trying to blend the harshness out where where the um, the, eye, the eyeshadow meets the outer V shade. Not the line of demarcation. And then I'm going to take this. Um, let me see. I'm going to take this Real Techniques uh, Essential Crease Brush. It's quite fluffy. And without any product, it's what I'm going to use too. To blend the the line of demarcation you have to give it some time and really go back and forth I'm kind of doing like sidewards motion and circular motion because we want it to be a soft transition Does it look good? <laughs> so 
so this is the outcome to be honest i was actually going more for brown and the the burnt orange well the name says it it's more like orange but um yeah it's okay so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to do our face I'm really trying to do like a soft glam, soft glam look on dark skin. So let's hope that it actually comes out this way and let's continue. So for primer, as usual, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter uh, a primer. Tell me why I just confused that as my body lotion or face cream anyway i'm not going anywhere so actually i didn't need the primer but i guess i'm just used to it my son is in the <laughs> My son is playing. Uh, for, found for foundation, we are going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade uh, 7 and 1 deep amber just shake it a bit so uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to use a, a beauty blender and this is the first drop as you can see here I've tried to really make like a sharp uh, finish so before I apply the foundation all over my face I'm just going to take a little bit of it on my brush and I usually try to avoid going with a lot of foundation underneath my eyes because I'm going to be applying concealer twice like I'm gonna apply a, a concealer next to my skin tone and then I'm gonna apply a, a lighter concealer so um, I just try to what's that on my nose so I just try to like use like just the part that uh, doesn't have a lot of a lot of uh, foundation. So after this, we after this we're going to highlight. The NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer dries down really fast. I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to begin with the my chin so as to give time for the, the concealer underneath my eyes to kind of settle, kind of dry down a bit.
once we do that we're going to go in with the fenty beauty uh pro filter soft matte is it soft matte now uh pro filter instant retouch concealer in the shade 420 and this is only going to go underneath our eye just to brighten as that is um drying i'm going to go in with the matchstick matchstick in the shade ebony and because i don't want it to be so um was it pronounced i'm just going to go in with the brush like this and here where i want to place the contour is where i'm gonna um i'm gonna place it i'm going to be uh blending it in circular motion and you will notice that i'm not blending it going downwards more going upwards and i just do this as my guide so i know exactly where to end here yeah. before it goes deep And here I'm 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 applying I'm 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 applying it pushing it back into my hair line. I think the boys want to sleep. That is in the butt of my beauty blender. I'm just going to go to the side so as to blend everything in like so. So, all right. Then, so that everything um, to avoid like creasing or caking, I'm going to go in with the black opal powder phone uh, powder top of the excess, and I'm going to set my under eye. Not only am I setting my under eye everywhere else where I applied the concealer. Personally, I prefer using a brush because I feel like with the brush you really get in there. Top of all the stuff of the excess. Cut and dark outside. I really started this video late and I had to stop. If it's your first time doing this, like I'm very sure you're gonna be skeptical, but trust the process. Trust the process. And be patient. So we're going to go ahead and do our, our nose. I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm going to go back into the matchstick. don't want a lot just a little bit because we're gonna blend it out I think I think I saw on TikTok Jacqueline Hill using such a brush to blend her nose contour so I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna give it a try
my lips are dry So to set the bronzer, I'm going to go in with Mocha Mami. Yeah, let's go in with Mocha Mami. I, was, I just thought about what if, what if I went in with Nas, but since I've been using Fenty products, let me go in with Mocha Mami. So I'm not going back into the bronzer, but I'm just going to apply it also on my forehead just to make it all uniform, you know, even though I didn't apply any cream bronzer there. If you like, you can, of course, also bronze or contour your, um, your jaws, but I have such a defined jawline, I don't think I need to... Um, to contour it or define it more than it is natural mm -hmm. to uh, add more definition to the contour I'm going to go in with a darker shade I'm going to go into uh, the mega bronzer in deep and I'm going to use it to intensify or uh, define my contour for the nose contour I'm going to go in with Mokamami Just so, so that we can we can define the the contour a little bit more. So okay, oh, where is it? This is my first time actually using burnt pepper, and but burnt pepper is a matte blush, and since we are doing soft glam. What we are going for mm. oh. love it Let's do the nose contour. I'm still going to use the same brush that I used for the contour and I'm just going to go in on the bronzer. you're starting like with the nose I, I personally am feeling very comfortable with this method I saw it on TikTok I said I mentioned it 
I saw it, somebody was trying it that Jacqueline Hill had done it and she tried it and I, I, I just so I, I remember I have this brush so I thought I'd try it too We're not going to be using any highlighter uh, so now I'm just going to put uh, I'm gonna use the setting powder to set everything in place for that I'm, I'm using the MAC finishing powder in the shade dark deepest and of course I'm going to be using my fluffy brush but before I go ahead and, and, and set everything I'm just going to try and get rid of this line of demarcation between the the bronzer and the reverse contour mm -hmm. and then I'm going to go on and, and dust off the excess powder underneath my eye I'm gonna take, then after that I just go into the finishing powder and dust it all over my face so when I apply like when I, I feel like I've over blushed or something I just use the the finishing powder to set everything Then we're going to go in with the fixing spray. Let's do the matte lip. We're going to go in with chestnut. Then we're going to do the lip and the under eye for the under eye i'm just going to go in with the i'll show you because after i apply this i won't be able to talk until it dries down otherwise it looks so patchy So uh, I had to change the um, the camera settings because uh, it got dark outside. So I'm currently using the front camera. If the quality has changed, I'm so sorry. If you haven't noticed any change, perfect. So I'm going to go on the waterline. I'm going to go in with the um, Kiko bra uh, Kiko Kiko uh, Smart Color Eye Pencil in the shade 03. It's kind of that's it i'm going to go with it underneath my eye just to brighten i love this look guys i love it That's our under eye and um, mascara, of course. Mascara, I cannot forget mascara. But 
uh, get my hair together, then I'll be right back so that we can see the complete look. So here we have the complete look. I was attempting to do the soft glam. Comment down below if I achieved it. So personally, I think I did. What do you think? Leave a comment down below, please. I've always been afraid to attempt soft glam because I, I really didn't understand what soft glam was. But I think with time I've come to understand what it is. And comment down below if I have passed the test. And this is soft glam. If not, tell me where I made a mistake so that I can correct it. Thank you for watching my video till this point. Uh, if, this vi if you found this video helpful or informative, um please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you are notified every time i upload a video i'm gonna catch you besties in the next video Bye.